Hi everyone, what if you have to identify the conic section within 5 seconds? Yes, it is possible. How? Stay tuned till the end of this video as I discuss the super shortcut to identify a conic section amongst a parabola, an ellipse, a hyperbola and a circle. Let's get started. So if you are given these huge second degree equations, how do you do that within seconds? So just to demonstrate, I have these four equations in front of me. Let's check these out. So the first one should be a parabola. The second one should be an ellipse. The third one should be a hyperbola. And this one is a circle. Isn't it magical? Well, let me share the secret with you. So whenever you come across this second degree equation, ax square plus bxy plus cy square plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero, please note instead of these a to f, you can name it anything. Now, it is a second degree equation provided A, B, C are not zeros together or A, B, C are not zeros simultaneously. The moment you come across this situation, what are you supposed to do? Just one step. You would check for the expression B square minus 4AC. Doesn't that remind you of your discriminant? Yes, this is also known as the discriminant method. So, what we are doing is this b square is basically the coefficient of x, y and a and c are the coefficients of x square and y square. That is it. That's all we need. So, now the moment you find b square minus 4ac, it gives rise to three situations. Number one, it could be less than zero or equal to zero or greater than zero. Well, if it is equal to zero, you don't have to think about anything. It is a parabola. If it is greater than zero, again, don't put too many brains into it. It is a hyperbola. However, if it is less than zero, then you might want to look at two things. First of all, if your B, this expression vanishes and your A and C are the same, in this case, it becomes a circle. Whereas, if your B is pretty much present and your A and C are different and still your discriminant turns out to be less than zero, then of course it's an ellipse. Please have a look. And now let's look at the questions one more time. So if you look at this, you know your B is 8, your A is 16 and your C is a 1. So your B square minus 4ac. This case becomes 64 minus 64 which is a 0 and thus we said the answer is a parabola. Question number 2. Once again you see your b square minus 4 into a into c. You need not solve it. You know mentally this would be 16 minus some bigger number. So the answer is bound to come out to be negative. Now this B is pretty much there and 8 and 5, they are not the same. So, it is simply an ellipse. Moving on, next one, this is B square minus 4 into A into C. So, this is 16 minus 4, which gives us a 12, which is greater than 0 and thus your answer has to be a hyperbola. And the last one, it says B square, but there is no B square. So it's a 0 minus 4 into A into C, which is less than 0. Now for less than 0 and B is equal to 0, also A is equal to C. So you realize this is a circle. You need not find even the discriminant in this case because as there is no term of XY, so it is bound to be a circle and secondly your A and C happen to be the same. Wasn't this super simple? So if you followed the procedure then I have a little DIY for you. 
please mention in the comment section below question 1, 2 and write their answers. I am sure you enjoyed this trick. If yes, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, share it with people around you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for many more math videos. Also, do not forget to check out my playlist on many more shortcuts and other math concepts. See you with the next video real soon. Until then, bye-bye.